Merry Christmas! Welcome to the Wild Gut Project. My name is Carrie. Um, today's video is a part one of a Christmas kind of roast dinner that's low FODMAP and vegan. Okay, so in the first part, I'm going to be making a tempeh, nut roast, and chestnut and cranberry kind of roast substitute to animals and then in the next part which I'll link somewhere once it's made um, will be roast potatoes, parsnips which are all FODMAP free, um, mustard sautéed Brussels sprouts which actually taste nice and balsamic glazed carrots and obviously a low FODMAP vegan gravy which is a challenge and I'll be doing it without buying some FODMAP free um, stock because that's quite hard to find in most places. Okay, so let's get cooking. It's going to take a while. So these are the ingredients you'll need for the nut loaf. I will list everything in a blog post which I'll link below. So first I'm going to put some cranberry seeds to soak so they're not really hard once they cook. And then I'm going to make a flaxseed egg which is about one tablespoon of brown flax seeds, and then one third of a cup of water. So I'm just going to stir that and then put these aside for when I need them later. Next prepping job is the chestnuts. So I'm just going to slice them on one side so they don't kind of pop open in the oven. You can also buy the vac packed cooked ones to save you some trouble, but I'm just going to pop these in the oven. Next, nuts. I've got 10 hazelnuts and then 10 Brazil nuts. And then two tablespoons of pumpkin seeds. I'm just going to blend those in the processor. And then I'm going to add two carrots. So just roughly chopping those up, popping them in the processor and giving it a waz, as Jamie Oliver once said. Then I've got the tempeh. I only had one day to film this and I could only get the tempeh in the morning so I haven't marinated it and it tasted fine but in the recipe I'll link below I'll give an option to marinate it because it definitely would add a little something extra. But yeah, breaking it up either way and putting it in the processor. So now I'm going to saute a good heaped tablespoon or so of black olives which add a really good savoury flavour to this. If you don't like olives, obviously skip them out, but I like them. Then we've got some fresh rosemary I'm going to chop up. I think sage would also make a really nice addition if you have some and want to throw it in. And then I'm going to take the dark green parts of three spring onions, chop them up and also fry those. And of course your lucky friends and family without IBS can enjoy the light green parts. Then I've used a small amount of olive oil. I'm just going to start sautéing them. Next I'm going to add the nut tempeh mixture. Just to start kind of toasting the nuts and cooking the tempeh. Oh and just so you know the scratches on the back of my hand are from a cat that didn't appreciate being combed even though it needed it. So nothing to worry about there. You probably will need to add a bit of oil because the tempeh can be quite dry. And then I'm adding some soy sauce, and about um, a tablespoon here, and then a tiny bit of asafoetida, which was out of shot, <laughs> about one quarter of a teaspoon. Keeping it moving. And then my chestnuts were done. Like I said, you can get the pre-cooked back pack ones, but this is a nice little treat and then I had some other chestnuts to snack on. So I'm just going to crack off the shells and pop those in the processor too. So I added a little bit of water just to make them a little bit more kind of squidgy and pop those into the mixture. Stir it about. And then I'm going to add in the cranberries. If you don't soak them first, they get very hard when they cook. So now I'm transferring over to a bowl because that pan was way too small. Stirring it about, mixing in the chestnuts, and then I'm going to add the flaxseed egg, which is all nice and goopy now. 
So then it becomes kind of like a dough that's all quite sticky. And it's really important at this point to taste it and then give it a season with salt and pepper as you see fit. And I think in general, just to make food taste good, it's so important to actually taste it as you cook and kind of change course accordingly. So here I've got a kind of loaf baking tin. I've lined it with some greaseproof paper. I haven't used any oil and it works fine. So I'm just putting the mixture into there and then flattening it out. Nice and smooth on top. And there we go. There is your finished nut tempeh loaf with lots of ingredients in. I'm gonna pop that in the oven. It's going in at about 200 degrees Celsius for half an hour. So half an hour later, out it comes and it's nice and golden on top. So I'm going to put that on the windowsill to chill and once it's actually cool enough to touch you can take it out and flip it over and you are good to go. So to have a low format portion I've kind of worked it out that you'd have one sixth which I think is enough. And then it actually works really well reheated in the microwave or fried in a pan, so it's brilliant to take with you when you're an awkward vegan low FODMAP guest, which is exactly what I've been doing with this loaf. And then here is the finished roast dinner. So we'll do the carrots, potatoes, parsnips, Brussels sprouts and cabbage and gravy in the next video, which I'll link somewhere. Yeah. It was a really enjoyable meal and I've, I fed it to the non-vegans and non low format people and they really enjoyed it so you're not going to miss out come Christmas. Okay so that was the roast dinner sorted. Now the trimmings are going to be in the next video which I'm going to post in a few days time just because this is a bit of a mission to edit. So I'll see you then. Bye!